Hey you guys, so I'm back with another message from the Lord. This particular message is based upon a dream and it kind of ties into the other message. Um, but in this dream, it was like um, this person know who their God or their spouse was and um, someone was watching them watching um you admire or wanting to give flowers to your ordained spouse because you're proud of them and their accomplishments and their achievements and this is a close friend to you um because it was like it was going to send a person um some flowers but you didn't know wanted it to know that it came from you and then i woke up um God is saying no one should know that you know or that you know who exactly your God-ordained spouse is. Y'all, in this season, we have to keep things private. It's not about secrecy. It's about privacy and strategy. A lot of y'all close friends are monitoring you. A lot of y'all close friends are watching you. And they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to do a destiny swap ritual. Um, it does happen. Witchcraft is very real. And uh, some of these people, they're very jealous of you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And they don't want to see you happy. And so what people will do is they will try to date or talk to someone that they know that you like. Even though they don't want that person, even though they don't like that person. All right. They just don't want you to have the person, but they don't want to be with a person. And when you are when you are going about your business, no longer caring, then they dismiss that person that you was really liking because they didn't want you to have the per per that person. Jealousy and envy, y'all, is real. Jealousy and envy is the main root and the main reason why people get involved in witchcraft and jealousy is at an all times high so god is saying no one should know keep that type of stuff to yourself um like no one should know who the exact person is no one should know i always see god for confirmation i always see god for strategy but some things we have to keep um to ourselves you have to um use discretion and you have to be very very use this uh, be very obedient and sensitive to god and use the spirit of discernment um another thing god dropped in my spirit the other day i was listening to um an encouraging word and this man was saying how um you know about the witchcraft and stuff like that but women how women will actually try to go in and use um use witchcraft and stuff like that to take other people's um, husbands and lifestyles because they're jealous of them so you got to be very very careful who you let come in your circle and I was so surprised to hear that even who you let come in your house I don't let everybody come to my house I don't let everybody visit me um, because people will do malicious things to try to do a destiny swap and I was like very surprised to hear that from a man's perspective because most of you hear those type of teachings from women but he talked from a man's perspective and he actually said like women do do stuff like that and it's not only just women it was it's men too um I had um seen in the spirit where men and I released a video about that or a message about it that guy had gave me where men were actually doing um trying to do destiny swaps and trying to take other god ordains um spouses or husbands wives from them um because they're not happily married um and they were doing um love spells and all the other good stuff rituals um god had let me see that in the spirit months ago so you have to be very very careful no one should know that stuff some things only should remain between you and god until it manifests keep this stuff to yourself keep this stuff private because like i said the devil is watching monitoring spirits is real jezebelic spirits is real and jezebelic spirits use a monitoring spirit that's what they use because they got to go check up on you and see uh what is it is the spell working or what can they attack and all these type of things um so be very 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 careful Thank you, Holy Spirit.
you shouldn't even have all your information on social media. I got a phone call today from one of my like for from a friend, and they was trying to figure they were <laughs> they was trying to figure out, you know, um, when um, my birthday was. Um, and this is uh, you know this is a relative, but you know I understand people cannot remember different things, but I keep my stuff on lock on private on social media for 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 reasons because people will try to dig through and try to find personal information about you so keep your stuff private all right don't put all your stuff out there on social media everybody should not know all your stuff um, all your personal business like i got to the point where i don't put a lot of stuff on social media um some stuff that's on social media is like very very old <laughs> um I even asked God, could I update some things? He was like, no, leave it like it is. But you have to be very mindful in this season about what you got going on. And don't put all your stuff on social media. I don't put all my stuff on social media. I'm very, very private when it comes to certain things on social media. Um, actuality is, with me, you guys, I'm not going to sit here and store. If it wasn't for me doing these profit and messages and having businesses and stuff like that i won't really be on social media like that because it's just like all the stuff that we see and all the things that's going on um it, it it can be very how can i say this i can get disgusted with some people when it comes to certain things and how um the world is going i can get very it's just like it is it's, it's thank you Holy spirit god just dropped in my spirit about love the person i hate to see i just hate seeing <laughs> i just hate seeing sinful stuff and that's because i'm spiritually grown within god so some stuff like like i like all the sinful stuff that i be seeing i i it just i just hate to see stuff like that because i'm like we are we call ourselves men and women of god and it just it just bothers me to see um, certain type of things on social media but god wants me to come and tell his children um that to keep your stuff to yourself no one should know keep that to yourself because it's a very it's a female and it's a very close friend of yours you think she's trying to help you but she's really trying to watch and monitor you because she's trying to figure out how she can mimic you to get your god ordained spouse to start liking her she don't really like you like that all right you know the saying where some people say keep your friends close and your enemies closer she's not really a friend to you she's an enemy to you all right so you know who this is for take this message back to god um in prayer and confirm god will always confirm but no one should know keep things to yourself in this season in this hour move in silence that even includes with your spouse. I know sometimes we want to share and we get excited, but everybody is not going to be happy for you. So no one should know. All right. So I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.